Good afternoon, morning, folks. Hope you're having a great day. Mike Wells, your World Explorer. Right now you're looking at um, what will become five separate control groups for fighting all the different insects that like to go after your summer squash. We're going to use American seed, summer squash seed stock as it is a high quality, low cost seed stock. There are other methods, but we're not going to include those methods for treatment today. We're just going to include these five main ones. Here you have the, <clears throat> the cup with the hole in it where you put it around your plant and supposedly that keeps magically supposed to keep the, the squash borer away. Spectracide is the heavy, the heavy weaponry. Um, dish soap and this is Dawn dish soap water then you have water and Elmer's glue last but not least diatomaceous earth from start and through so all of this is going to be used from start to and through let's get started on our we're going to prep our area and it's going to be different than the last time we prepped an area all right folks here's the new area that I'm prepping as you can see there are five five control holes and they're very squarish that right there is a historic street sign used to sit stand at the corner of our of our street here and uh, when they removed it they the previous owner asked if they could set it here in their yard and so there it is part of history here uh, I'm going to place in this hole a nice thick layer of oak leaves then a layer of the dirt which is just sugar sand then another layer of oak, oak leaves and then more dirt and we'll see maybe three layers of oak leaves I'm not sure but I'm going to shoot for two if I can afford three that's what I'll do uh, I'm not going to put any fish in these holes this time, no no lime, none of that. Let me show you uh, the logic behind this location too. You can tell right now it's only 11.10 uh, before noon and um, the sun is just peeking out from the, under, from the uh, understory produ producers. So these palms are creating this shade here so let me show you the logic behind me choosing this spot so here right there are is the first planting of the summer squash this year it's out in a full sun they get very wilty during the scorching heat of the day around between 11 and like three o'clock so I chose a location over here that would get a little bit more shade throughout the day than we're getting over here. That is my logic behind that specific location. It's going to get, over here is the east, over there is the west. It's going to get barely any east sunshine, mostly sun setting west sunshine. So it's still full sun, so we can get away with it. All right, there we have uh, maybe like a two-inch layer of leaves in the holes. And this one, I just put about an inch of soil. So I'm going to do that to all these and then put more leaves on. All right, now all of them have about an inch of soil over top of two inches of leaves. Now we put some more leaves. All right, we just put a bunch more leaves over top of an inch of soil which is over top of two inches of leaves so now we're gonna fill maybe about two inches of soil on top of these leaves and we'll plant the summer squash on top of these leaves inside of that two inches of soil all right here we have the last layer of dirt being applied we'll do one more layer of mulch not leaves but actual mulch after we 
put our seeds into the ground. Okay, here we have the five control groups all next to each other. Over there, you see diatomaceous earth. Over here, you see spectricide. Over there, you see the cups. Over here, you see the water with the Elmer's glue. And over there, you see the dish soap and water. So throughout the life of these yellow squash, we're going to be applying all of these pest control methods only to their specific control group. So we won't apply water and Elmer's glue to them. We won't apply those to here and so on and so forth. Okay, you see here I'm watering in the dirt first. I want to have, I want this dirt to be, uh, to have some play. I don't want it to be all sugar sandy and blow away in the wind because that's hard to work with. I need it to be more like mud. So now I got five mud puddles. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, when this water settles in, um, I'll get right to planting the seeds. All right, here's the control area. The water has settled. Now I'm going in using my tool to produce about inch, inch and a half uh, deep holes. And I'm just placing pretty much one seed, sometimes two per hole. And I'm going to do that throughout the whole control area. Um, except for with these cups, I'm going to place two seeds per hole. Maybe three because I only have six cups that I want to work with in that spot. All right, now we have all the seeds sealed into the ground. As you can tell, I'll water these in real quick and then uh, I'll put the mulch over. I'll water them in again and we'll be good to go. But this specific control group I'm really interested in. I want to see if this works or not because if it works It'll be really weird. These others, I hope they work too. I hope they all work. Because I want everybody who shares videos on YouTube about these different methods, I want them to be right. But we're going to find out together. Alright, here are our five control groups. One control area. You see, again, we're going to do if you can see those containers diatomaceous earth will go here spectricide will go here when the plant is when these plants are coming out of the ground that's already set up the way as far as it's ever supposed to go this is water and Elmer's glue we'll spray that on the plants when they come up and apply every two days or so same thing with the uh, the, the Dawn dish soap right here when these guys start coming up, we're going to start spraying them. Folks, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That helps the channel out a lot. Have a good day and stay tuned because I'll keep you updated on the progress of all these different control groups for your summer squash treating for any kind of pests that try to invade. Have a good day.